So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Monday, so it's time for another Power Query video. This time I'm going to show you something that you cannot do using the user interface that I've been using last week. Two things I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you can group rows into one row and concatenate the values. And the other one is how to count by special characters. Okay, so if you need one of those or if you're just curious how to do them, just let's get started. Okay, here's the example. Very, very easy. We have a column with buildings and then a col column with servers. So building A has three server, building B has one server. And what we're going to do is go from there to this. Okay, so first we're going to concatenate the values and then we're going to count how many commas we have, which in this case will give us how many number of servers per building. Okay. So that was not exactly what I was using it for, but it works too. So the first thing we're going to do is how to group and concatenate in one step. And I've shown this before, but it's buried in another video. So let's do it again. So let's see what we're going to do is group by building. And then we're going to put all rows. And as you can see, give us table with the values. Okay, but it group into a list. What we're going to do is modify this a little bit. So we're going to do text combine, and then we're going to combine uh, the values on server names, I think it's called. And then I want to combine them using a comma there. And then the type is not going to be text, it's actually a table is going to be text. So let's change that, otherwise you'll get an error. And as you can see, we managed to get the contents of the list into a row and concatenate it, okay? Okay, so now let's count the number of commas that we have on each cell. And obviously you could count the number of rows on the previous table that would have given this to us, but if you don't have a table, if you just have it like this, how do you do it? Let me show you. So. What we're going to do is we're going to add a custom column and we're going to split text split the contents of the column. And let me show you what it does. It's better to do in two steps. We have to tell it what to split it by, obviously. Split it by a comma. And it provides a list. So we're going back to where we were before. But again, in case that you don't have a table, this is a useful thing. So we go back to where we were before. And now instead of having a table, we have a list. We have a list of values. And there is actually a M function called list, um, list count. And that counts number of items on a list, which basically give us, you can see, so we have, now, it is counting the number of items on the list, so it's counting three. In case you just want to have the number of commas, you actually have to get rid of one, right? But if you want to have the number of servers, then you were fine. So depending on where you're counting, you will modify this one way or the other. So those are my two Power Query tricks that you cannot do using the user interface. If you want to have more Power Query tricks, I have a ton Go and check the playlist, it's huge. I'll see you again on Wednesday with a Power BI video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.